Ever find yourself on the edge of your seat, engrossed in a gripping tale of suspense and intrigue? If you haven't yet, the 1963 TV series might just be the ticket. It follows the journey of Dr. Richard Kimball, a man wrongly accused of murder, as he evades the relentless pursuit of Lieutenant Gerard. But here's the kicker, it isn't just about cat and mouse chases. Brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions, because this show is loaded with funny, shocking, and downright sad moments that'll keep you glued to your screen. Ever wondered how a TV series could leave an imprint on someone's life? Do you have your own anecdotes or lesser-known facts about this series that make it all the more fascinating? Share your thoughts because we're diving into a world where each viewer might have their own unique connection with the storyline. So, are you ready to unravel the mysteries, explore the unexpected, and reminisce about the unforgettable moments? Keep those eyes peeled, the journey's just begun, and there's much more to discover. Now, turning the spotlight on you, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Buckle up for a ride through the world of suspense and emotion where every episode leaves you hungry for more. Stay tuned for more fun, shocking, and heartfelt facts about the show. The 1963 TV series The Fugitive left an enduring impact on popular culture during its time, captivating audiences with its suspenseful narrative. Dr. Richard Kimball's quest for justice, wrongly accused of murder, became a cultural phenomenon, drawing viewers into a world of relentless pursuit and emotional intensity. The show's reception was nothing short of remarkable, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats with a gripping tale. The cat-and-mouse dynamic between Dr. Kimball and Lieutenant Gerard not only fueled the suspense, but also set a precedent for intense character-driven storytelling on television. Beyond its immediate success, the series' legacy extended into spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations that followed. This captivating storyline spawned a legacy that transcended the small screen. Viewers found themselves emotionally invested, leading to a demand for more content related to it. Spin-offs emerged, offering fans additional layers to the narrative. The merchandise, inspired by the characters and gripping moments, found its way into the hands of avid enthusiasts, solidifying its presence beyond the television screen. Adaptations in various forms ensured that the essence of the show continued to resonate with new generations. The cultural impact persists as fans continue to reminisce about the unforgettable moments that define the series. The emotional roller coaster, punctuated with funny, shocking, and poignant scenes, left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who follow with the journey. In conclusion, its influence goes beyond being a mere TV series. It became a touchstone in the landscape of suspenseful storytelling. The reception, coupled with the array of spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations, solidifies its place as a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences across generations. The impact on popular culture remains palpable, a testament to narrative prowess and enduring appeal. Step into the heart-stopping world of The Fugitive, where every episode is a masterclass in suspense. One standout moment etched in the memories of fans is the gripping episode titled Shadow of the Swan. In this intense installment, Dr. Richard Kimball finds refuge in a small town, only to discover that the seemingly tranquil community conceals dark secrets. As he unravels the town's mysteries, tension escalates, leading to an unforgettable climax that leaves viewers breathless. Another remarkable episode, Echoes of a Whisper, showcases the emotional depth of the series. Known for his elusive nature, Kimball forms an unexpected bond with a troubled young girl. The episode delves into the fragility of human connections amidst the backdrop of his relentless pursuit, adding layers of complexity to the character. In Vanishing Act, the narrative takes a surprising turn as he, always on the run, confronts his doppelganger. The uncanny resemblance sparks a chain of events that challenges Kimball's identity and tests the boundaries of trust. This thought-provoking episode stands out for its psychological twists and turns. The Fugitive also leaves an indelible mark with its emotionally charged episode, Silent Judgment. In this poignant installment, Kimball becomes entangled in the life of a deaf-mute woman accused of a crime. The exploration of communication barriers, coupled with the overarching theme of injustice, makes this episode a standout in the series. As the series unfolds, City of the Angels emerges as a visual spectacle. Set against the backdrop of Los Angeles, this episode showcases the versatility of the show, seamlessly blending suspense with a touch of film noir. 
The cityscape becomes a character itself, adding a new dimension to Kimball's relentless journey. In the end, it's not just about the pursuit of justice, but the intricate web of human stories woven into this timeless classic. Each episode unfolds a unique chapter, revealing the multifaceted nature of Dr. Kimball's odyssey. From heart-pounding chases to soul-stirring connections, the show remains a timeless classic that transcends the boundaries of ordinary storytelling. Barry Morse, known for his role in the series, recounted encounters with elderly ladies in supermarkets. They'd urge him to spare Dr. Kimball, insisting that the one-armed man was the true culprit. The show's impact went beyond borders. A German magazine proposed a contest where readers would stalk David Jansen through West Berlin streets, showcasing the series' global popularity. During the final episodes, airing Jansen, engaged in the Green Berets, discussed the finale on Joey Bishop's ABC nighttime show from Fort Benning, Georgia. This highlighted the show's enduring influence, even as its lead actor was immersed in other projects. The juxtaposition of Jansen's roles emphasizes the significance of The Fugitive in his career. The concluding chapter of The Fugitive unfolded uniquely as its fourth season became the sole installment shot in color. William Shatner, DeForest Kelly, and James Duhon, familiar faces from Star Trek, made early appearances in this series. The final two-part Judgment episodes and some others in the last year discreetly incorporated music cues from Dominic Frontier, originally composed for The Outer Limits, 12 O'Clock High, and branded. Uncredited in the end, these episodes also borrow wood cues from Bernard Herrmann and Jerry Goldsmith's compositions, along with snippets from Capitol's music library. Barry Morse, integral to the series, shared amusing encounters with supermarket patrons who passionately pleaded for Dr. Kimball's innocence, convinced the one-armed man was the true culprit. Across borders, a German magazine launched a contest where readers would stalk David Jansen through West Berlin streets, underscoring the show's global allure. During the final episode's broadcast, Jansen, immersed in the Green Berets, discussed the finale on Joey Bishop's ABC nighttime show from Fort Benning, Georgia, a testament to the enduring influence of The Fugitive, even as its lead actor pursued other projects. Contrary to some misinformation, rumors about an alternate ending for the series have been debunked. Barry Morse clarified that the false arm theory might have originated from a playful plan he and David Jansen had for public appearances. Jansen humorously suggested Kimball killed his wife because she talked too much. Another whimsical idea involved an alternate epilogue where he wakes up beside his wife, revealing the entire ordeal as a nightmare. Jansen even proposed a final scene with him on a beach, detached prosthetic arm in hand, as the one-armed man faces execution. Whether serious or jest, these ideas added an intriguing layer to the unresolved tension. Ken Wilhoit, the series' music editor, had a connection to the real-life inspiration for The Fugitive. His wife, Susan Seaforth Hayes, was involved in an affair with Dr. Sam Shepard, whose case influenced the show. Shepard later appeared as a prosecution witness. These personal connections behind the scenes added a layer of complexity to its production. Barry Morse, recalling an amusing incident, shared that someone once slipped him a note in a London restaurant that read, he is in the kitchen. This anecdote highlights the fervent engagement and speculation surrounding the show even beyond the television screen. The show continued to make waves globally. Morse recounted encounters with elderly ladies in supermarkets pleading for Dr. Kimball's innocence and convinced the one-armed man was the true culprit. In West Berlin, a German magazine proposed a unique contest where readers would stalk David Jansen through the city's streets, underscoring its international allure. Even as Jansen discussed the finale on a nighttime show from Fort Benning, Georgia, his engagement in other projects highlighted the enduring influence of the series. The concluding chapter of the series saw a unique shift as its fourth season became the only installment shot in color. Noteworthy appearances by William Shatner, DeForest Kelly, and James Duhan from Star Trek added to the intrigue. Music cues discreetly borrow wood from other shows, including The Outer Limits, contributed to its atmospheric quality. These subtle touches enrich the viewing experience, making it a standout in the realm of television classics.